It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. Welcome everybody to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I want to talk to you about something that can be used as what we've previously commented on as habit evidence. That would be inculpatory evidence. Inculpatory evidence is evidence that shows or leads to show a person's involvement in an act or evidence that can establish guilt. Now when we're talking about this, this is the one thing I told you about when you're giving up one thing, you're actually giving that up forever. Because in criminal law, a prosecutor has a duty to provide all evidence to the defense. This includes and is not limited to audio, video, calls, police reports, police conduct, police history. And whether it's going to be something that favors the prosecutor or the defendant's case, this is something that is involved in Brady. Evidence that tend to show a person's innocence is what you hear in Brady and that's called exculpatory evidence. And the reason we wanna go through that is because, again, I just had a podcast that aired and it talked about exculpatory evidence and we also talked about how a lot of this is being withheld and not going forward. But this is something I want to bring to your attention today. Habit evidence or things that show a tendency in a person's behavior, whether it's making a payment for something, whether it's habitually going to a certain place or showing a pattern of arrest. This is called inculpatory evidence because it's even done if the cop is a Brady cop, which is one that has lied on testimony before, which can actually also include, but not be limited to the actual police reports that he or she has submitted. So that's all I got for today. More is going to keep coming and I'm going to keep giving it to you. We're going to be strong and we're going to keep going along. Thank everybody for the donations. And guess what? PayPal is back in the mix. So we have PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, Venmo, and everybody's pay Zelle. If you want to send the wire, but you don't want to um, spend the fees for that wire. Zell is the way to do that. Let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Until next time. Lift me up.